Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are back in it once again, jumping in, and, and, I started an episode yesterday, and as you can see, I was playing as Tainted Lost. So, I'm going to continue that, because that's who I randomised. Um, I basically started the episode, and in the very moment I started it, a friend messaged me and I had to stop, um, and then I forgot about it. So, <laughs> uh, but I figured out one thing. Um, eternal enemies and harder boss armor makes Tainted Lost quite difficult. <laughs> so, we got that to enjoy. Um, I don't know if we'll be getting any wins, but I sure as hell will try. I do love this character. Tainted Lost is one of my favorite Tainted characters. I know that that, for many people, is an unpopular opinion. Uh, but I think he's really fun. He starts off very, very strong and gets very good items. It just makes for usually all-round very fun runs, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I, I will be seeing how this goes, and yeah, if, if those of you, for those of you that haven't seen me play, ta play Tainted Lost before, I do recommend going and checking out the original series I did, um, for the Repentance Getting the Dead, Getting Dead God, because I, uh, yeah, I, I, I trucked through, I didn't do all of my Tainted Lost runs on camera, just because it would have taken forever, but I did do a few of them, um, I think, uh, Delirium was one of the ones that was on camera, and that is still to date one of my best played runs, ooh, I forgot that these guys are spectral. That kind of scared me for a second there. I forgot they could walk over rocks. So we've got to be very careful to not lose our holy card. But this guy, I do find him a tremendous amount of fun. Do you know what? Let's just go for that right now. See if we can get ourselves some uh, some extra money drops here. Also gives us triple shot for the boss, which could be good with um, Chemical Peel here. Grab that as well. I don't think there's anything else we need flight for right now. Just go straight for our boss and see what we might get from this. But yeah. I, uh, I had a few times, a few deaths is why you saw a minus three. I had a few deaths where I am immediately, literally immediately died due to an eternal boss on the first floor. Um, they're really not very conducive to uh, doing well. I might actually be able to go to my shop and get something good here. Obviously, check for a holy card is the most important of all of those. Uh, we get ourselves chilly, a little bit of extra damage, which with the, this guy's multipliers is... Uh, quite quite nice so let's uh let's go and check this out we don't have a bomb for that tinted drop unfortunately but obviously we don't exactly need it um right let's check this out no holy card but i would say that phd is pretty worthwhile here um range up and balls of steel obviously balls of steel doesn't matter but do you know what i think phd for one it makes our character look pretty cool for two i think it's just uh it's just really good do you know one thing i find really funny with tinted lost is um <laughs> how like he's meant to have like a cobweb on his head but do you know how old like like it's kind of common for older people to knit like tea cozies and doilies i think they're called doilies is that the name um search it up if, if you don't know the term but they, it really makes me think he's just wearing one of those on his head and i find it so funny every time whoa i didn't realize he was still gonna fire that um you're eternal be very careful you as long as you can't shoot through walls then i don't really mind Okay. He can shoot directly towards me. Tears up. Beautiful. Give me death certificate. Damn it. <laughs> I can, however, open reflected items for free. Okay. Guess I can't. Um, I was told that you could. I was told that you could. Prian, you devious little bitch. <laughs> the Lost is supposed to be able to open those for free. I'm guessing um, that he didn't account for Holy Mantle when he set that up. Either that or I'm just wrong, but this run's probably doomed. <laughs> Anyways, as for the question of the day today, as for the question of the day today, um, I think I've asked this before, but there's a lot of new viewers since I last asked it. What is your most sentimental piece of clothing? What is some? What is a piece of clothing that just means a lot to you that you'll think you'll never get rid of? I have um, this burger shirt. Do you know? I'm gonna I'm gonna gamble here. Okay. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt you, but it does remove your mantle. You can survive it, but it does remove your mantle. Good to know. Um, I had to check that out because I already think this room runs a bit doomed anyways. But yeah, what's your most sentimental piece of clothing? For me, I've got a few. I've got a um, Gorillaz, like the band t-shirt from when I was like seven that I still have that's that's just awesome it obviously doesn't fit me anymore but I still really love it and I have this burger t-shirt that is literally just 
It's just got a massive, huge stack, like six stack burger cartoon on it. And I've also had that since I was quite young. That one does still fit me, surprisingly. It's it's stretched well over the years. Um, which is very surprising, considering I am considerably larger and heavier than I was when I got that shirt when I was like 10. But anyways, yeah, it does still fit me somewhat. So that one, that one's always one that's, that's got a bit of sentimental value. Why did I get a black heart from a fire there? Is that something that can happen? Interesting. Uh, right, carry on. I'm not too worried about dying early here. I am a little bit concerned that um, we're not going to get a holy card for a little while, but honestly, as this guy, you never really know what's in store for you. You never really know. Hello there, fella. This could be it. The holy card. It awaits us. Damn you. Now, one thing that's, that, that I always forget with this guy is... Brimstone's rather nice. Is, does, does he have an increased chance to find holy cards or an increased chance to replace existing cards with holy cards. Because if it's if it's just an increased chance to find them, when playing modded, your chance for holy cards must be really low because there's so many more cards. Uh, whereas if it's like a, t a chance, a 10% chance to replace, that's way better because it, it means it doesn't matter what card would have dropped. We're still going to get a decent chance to get holy cards, which is obviously the far preferable uh, option if we have an option at all. But this is a uh, this is kind of a weird one because this is actually a very good run, but I I really don't think it's gonna last. <laughs> I really don't think it's gonna go the distance. Do you? Just we need a holy card like yesterday, otherwise things are gonna get real saucy real fast. I mean the damage with brimstone here is exquisite. It is. I will say that. It is exquisite. We haven't got perfection yet either. That's that's a, a big get for this character. When you get perfection. We will check this because we could get a holy card here. Unfortunately not, but do you know what? I'll buy the pill. Oh, it's another balls of steel. This would be a fantastic run if we could have health. <laughs> Golden bomb's rather nice. But yeah, if we could have health, this would be just an insanely good run. But we can't. Another balls of steel. What is going on? This, we've had like eight this run. Eight balls of steel pills. That's absolutely crazy. Didn't think that was going to be secret room, but I had to check. I don't know where we've been here. Okay. Can't go into the cash room, sadly, without a teleport card. Okay. I don't really know where Secret Room would be from here. Normally, it stands out to me pretty clearly, so... Could be here, I guess, maybe? There you go. Check what's in here. I'm, I'm more prepared for enemies being in here now, because there is more often, in modded, a lot of enemies in the Secret Rooms. So, I need to be kind of prepped for that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. With our charge times, these guys are uh, a little telefraggy. I, obviously, I want pills from this, but I also want magic mush if possible. Just a few little gapey gapey boys. A lot of hearts dropping, sadly. Health up. We're getting a lot of good pills that don't mean anything to us right now. It's very sad. Distant admiration. Not really the top tier items I should. I feel like I deserve right now, but hey her. Right. I think I can just pass through, right? Yeah. Okay, we know where the boss is, I think. We've seen our shop. I think we're good to go. We can use the bombs if need be, but I feel like we probably won't need them. I, I don't think this is right, is it? This is, it? is this right? I oh, know, this feels right, this feels right. There you go. And then this way. There you go, we're good, we're good. Oh god, we're probably dead. There's no way, yeah. No way I don't get hit by that guy. Let's go again. Yeah, unfortunately, this character does not mesh well at all. Does not mesh well at all with the Eternal mod. The the bosses, they're just... Their attack patterns are just so crazy that it's so unlikely that you're not going to get hit at least once. You're probably always going to lose your Holy Card or die, depending on whether you have one active or not. So, 
They're a little problematic, but I'm, I ain't no wimp. I'm not going to disable them. I'm not going to disable them. I ain't no bitch. Waspel. Eh. That is not... That is not a positive trade game. Okay, these are all... Oh, we got the, yeah, the reverse curse. The reverse curse. By the way, Lucky Cole. Does it do much? I've not really seen it be too effective. Although, saying that, immediately get two drops back to back. So, maybe I'm talking out my ass. Yeah, I don't know how good um, the Wasp is. He seems decent enough, to be honest. In fact, against weaker enemies, he's pretty good. He's a bit slow at moving around. But I won't blame him for that. Let's keep on going. I can never remember. Is there a transformation with the, the, the wasps? I know there was at one point. I don't know if that ever got removed. I feel like it might have done. I'm going to check this for secret room. It seems like it could be. There you go. I'll take pills again. That's a health up again. Game really wants my health to be high. Ooh. Hello, sirs. I think this is one of the bosses that I can handle reasonably well. Ooh, ooh, one of these rocks regened as a spiked rock. That was... Okay, no, it doesn't matter. I was going to say that was pretty awesome. And then it regened under the pedestal and hit me for my uh, for my holy card. So, to you, P Prian is going to be sitting just laughing on the floor at that failure. I should have seen that coming. He's, he's going to be loving that. He's going to be lapping that shit up. But to him, I say, curse you. Curse you, dear boy. But, here's the holy card. <laughs> if only. If only. I think we should sun card. Ooh. Take a little peek. Ooh. Humbling bundle early. Yes, please. There's a lot of spike blocks around these days. Not a big fan. Not a big fan. Right. Here comes the sun. Do -do 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 Okay, we found a secret room out of that. Nice. You're still not dead. We found both secret rooms out of that? Oh, no, no. We only bombed into one. That's a golden mega troll bomb. Stuck in there with him. Oh, Lord. I'm trying. Okay, I accidentally exited the wrong room because I cast the maze there. That really messed me up for a second. But I think we're onto something with that room, you know. Check this out for a second. Iron bar, thank you. Iron bar's not so bad. Right. Let's see. Can we make this room work for us? I feel like we probably can. So I'm, I'm a little bit annoyed that, he, that the... Uh, Bombs never hit that other chest. There you go. We got it. That's a really fun room. I like that. <laughs> That's a really fun room. In fact, one minute, one minute, one minute. Was it an air was? It was, it was, it was. That's, yeah, that's a really fun little room there. Uh, air was on the decal here. Will give us a crawl space. There you go. And quickly go back in and grab that. That's a really fun little room. <laughs> I like that a lot. Oh, hello. Um, no. <laughs> I will definitely take a Joker card, but to the rest of that, I unequivocally say no. Uh, I do think, first of all, though, let's uh, fight our boss and use our Soul of Eve. Ballot. That was close. That was close. That was a little saucy. We've been into our shop yet? No, we haven't. We probably should do that. We've only got one key, so it's a little risky. Well, we'll do it on the way back, though. Definitely keep. This is a far easier boss than the other. The Wooden Horn. Um, spawns three shockwaves in... Uh, shock. Nah, we, we go for the straight damage. That seems like an interesting item, but straight damage is always going to be better. Also, it makes uh, Tainted Lost more look like the Existential Dread Lost, which I think we... We have to respect.
while this isn't actually very good now, once we get a holy card, if we get a holy card, this could prove to be incredible. I think we grab that. I actually think we activate this immediately upon heading to the next floor, just for the, the, the highest chance possible of survival. I'm not saying it's a high chance, but the highest chance possible. And I mean, if we don't like it, we could always glowing hourglass. If the de if the deal ends up looking just just not worth it, I think we just glowing hourglass and we'll be in a pretty decent spot. So I'm I'm definitely all for that. So let's pop it, and then yeah, <laughs> get the fuck out of it. <laughs> that made that decision quite easy. Eternal Krampus. I mean, regular Krampus. I already wouldn't have been very up for fighting. Eternal Krampus is a hell to the no. Hell to the no. With the leeches. I kind of forgot we had Humbling Bundle for a moment as well. That's a, a big get for us. Yeah, so basically, I think any room like this that we enter that looks a little risky and we feel like we don't have to fight, we just get out of there. Obviously, it'd be nice to have it charge up a little faster, but I don't think we're going to get that wish granted, are we? Ooh. Oof, nice bit of money there. Right. Try and get ourselves a key. It'd be lovely to get into our shop. We're getting a lot of money. Sadly, no keys, though. This could be secret room. It very much looks like it is. There you go. A few pennies, pennies, pennies. And where do we go now? Where do we go now? Damn it. I moved a little bit wrong there. Our our death streak here is going to be quite bad. But it's, these episodes are fun. I, I like, as much as you die quickly as this character, I really enjoy playing him. So I relish the opportunity to, to give him a go. I'm definitely playing bad as him at the moment, but do bear in mind that I haven't played this character essentially since I completed his completion marks. So I am quite out of practice for uh, the, the, get, the not getting hit side of things. So I do apologize profusely for my lack of skill. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can get together. Oh, daddy long legs. And he's upgradable too. This could be beautiful. My goodness, this could be gorgeous. Already, Daddy Long Legs is a fantastic get. Because if there's ever ever a room that, that is just way too tricky for us, um, we can just nerf the hell out of it. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, there we go. Give me that sticky nickel. Uh, if there's ever a room, we can just nerf the hell out of it and sit over some rocks. God damn, we got a lot of value in this room. A lot of value. Ah. We did get a sewing machine. One upgrade. Please let me get two. Two upgrades. Yes. That is thoroughly incredible. I don't even know what the upgraded version of this guy does. In fact, so he does he, he does like a, a bigger step. And slowing tears. So he does like hand and foot there. So let, let's just have a little look-see. Uh, inventory. Daddy long legs. Upgrades. Has a... Um, has a chance to stomp with a head, dealing two times normal damage. Has a chance to stomp with a trichnid when it, does, it fires slowing tears. Increased chance to stomp um, with the head. Each time it falls, has a chance to stomp an additional time. This is going to be quite strong. I mean, this is already one and done. Pageant boy. Why? If it had given me enough money to buy Steam Sale, I'd have been reasonably happy about it. But it didn't have even have the courtesy to do that. But yeah, we, rocks are our kind of best friend right now. If we if we have a room that looks a little tricky, we essentially just let Daddy Longlegs do all the work. I don't think I've got a trinket this run, do I? No, not currently. More money we can garner as well, the better. I think this is our secret room here. Looks very, very secret roomy to me. There you go, it is.
Stomp that bastard. Ooh. Rules card. Yay. Would have been good if uh, that turned into a holy card for us, but we did not get so lucky. And then here we got... Ludo. Ludo's a weird one. Like... If we had higher than base shot speed, I'd actually say sure. I, I like Luda. It's a fun item. But with base shot speed and base fire rate for this character, I feel like it's going to be very problematic for us and just cause us to die. So unless I get some stuff that makes it viable... Um, yeah, unless I get some stuff that makes it viable this run, I don't think it's a great idea. Take out the Explody Boys early. Try and make the Explody Boys bomb the other enemies. Good. Nice. I'm taking pills here just because I feel like I need to. That's a full-on stomp right there. I do like the fact that they don't seem to increase the damage of the stomps. There's just chances for other types of stomps. And I think that's a really good way of doing the upgrades on this dude. Sadly, no uh, no thingy for us. No holy card. Shop is really the best way that you're going to get your holy cards, so that's what we're looking for. Oh, I didn't do the double stomp. I was hoping for two stomps. Two stomps this time. Boop. But he did go down very quickly there. Uh, and then we've got Flyboy, which visually can be quite glitchy, but I'm definitely taking it. Yeah, it's, it's visually glitchy once again, but I'm definitely taking it. It seems too good to be true. It's going to provide us with a lot of benefits. <laughs> he just sat on that dude straight up. Straight up sat in that fella. What we need is a little wardrobe so we can change our costume and it not be all buggy and glitchy. Because you can see even when it's pixelated it looks really weird. Was not expecting that. The intruder. I already noticed you. I think the intruder's good enough to grab. I definitely think there's there was opportunity to reroll there. But like for one, it's good damage, but for two, it's more slowing tears, which I feel like is always gonna be important. Do remember that flies are quicker in this mod, so gotta be careful for that. Let's go straight for the boss here. Just because we have such a good chance of killing the boss early. Like quickly, is what I mean, not early. God damn the flies they spawn the The fly spawns are a little bit annoying. But we got it. Perfection, there it is, we need that. There's the shot speed we would have liked last floor. Um and there's Succubus, we'll definitely take that. I love the way Succubus looks with this mod. Looks so much better. The resprite of the item and the resprite of the actual Succubus itself. Both really good. And we need to find our shop. And we luckily found it straight away. Good. Killing these dudes over pits if possible is great. Because it means it doesn't spawn anything. Okay. Give us that spare holy card we're looking for. Give it to me. Unfortunately not. Right. We're out of here. God damn, the glitchy costume, it it, it, it scares my very soul. <laughs> I really don't like it. It's, it's so horrible to look at. I apologize for all of you that think the same. I really do. I really do. Yeah, sadly we can't get into cash rooms without teleport cards, so that was very close. I The, the Eternal Fly kind of tricked me out there for a second. Remember, there's going to be Eternal Fly after this guy. Grabby, grabby. The Eternal Flies are scary, man. They've got so much extra HP. And with the extra speed, they're just a bit nutty. Health up. Look down. Look down is bad, but it doesn't matter. I mean, we do already have 10. Oh, the radius on that foot, man. It's so good. 
I wonder if the, the, the subsequent second stomp can trigger another stomp. Like, can it do, like, stomp after stomp after stomp? Ooh, shit. This is an eternal. Wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. We dealt with him quickly enough. Oh, God. That was a room I also was very ill-prepared for. This is a room I quite like to see. That's a pretty sad version of that, to be honest. I think we grab this. I mean... I don't really think... Is Soul of the Lost useful as the Lost in any capacity? I don't think so, right? Maybe? Maybe it gives us an extra Holy Mantle. I don't actually know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what that would do. Beautiful. Patched Heart there, unfortunately, is useless. I'm hoping the Soul of Isaac proves itself to be very good. I don't know why I destroyed that. Okay, this is a bit of a tricky room. These guys can walk over rocks. We've got basically no cover. They can kind of telefrag. X-ray vision. Um, yeah, I think X-ray vision is actually pretty good. Being able to get into all the secret rooms here. Um, be able to see them easier. I think that's pretty good. Ooh, a look penny there. Okay, keep moving. Hopefully the shop is good too here. Honestly, Succubus is so good for us here. Yeah, suck it, suck it all up. What you got for us, Void Chest? This can, thing can poof out flies, so be careful. Yeah, it did, but luckily we're okay. Um, familiars have tears, have a chance to... Nah, that doesn't do anything for us. I mean, it's the trinkets anyways, we can't really take trinkets right now. Oh, there you go, Succubus. It's doing so well. This guy is a little tricky for us. Yeah, there you go. That is exactly what I was hoping for. Synth oil, he is awesome. Um, I think this is a time in which we should... Um, I don't know what the other dude is. Oh, he's on me. God damn it. I think we definitely want this. I'm very annoyed I got hit there, but it's what it is. Right, back to try and find our uh, shop. Damn, I really hope I don't die trying to go to the shop here, but I've got to try it. I didn't hit that. God damn it. Cracked key. I think I buy the blue candle here. It seems worthwhile to me right now. And I guess... So let me just take a little look here. I guess we take the Soul of the Lost. Um, see if it says anything, actually. Um, die and turn to the Lost for the current room. For the current room only. I, I guess I grab it. I, I don't think it does anything for us. In fact... I think I'm better off grabbing the Soul of the Forgotten to play like a Blood Bank or like a Sack Room. Just get a little bit more value that way, right? Right, let's go. I'm just going to open my drink real quick. I'm going to have a little sip. This is stressful. Losing the Holy Card this early. If, basically, for me, if I lose my Holy Card before Depths 2... I know shit's going down. Because depths 1 and 2 are so difficult to not get hit on. In my opinion, they're the flaws that really can make or break. Oh, good. Yeah. That room exists. Good. <laughs> that that room is just like, doesn't matter. You die. There is ways to do that. I could have fl I could have flown around the right side. I realized that I, I I approached that room in the worst way possible just then, going at it head on. But also, I was kind of doomed to failure already. You know what? That that run that run just deserves a fat R key. That one almost did as well. Holy hell! What's with all the jumpy bastards? These spiders are so annoying. I'm hoping we can get some absolutely stonking good item right off the bat. I'm trying to think of, like, what I'm looking for. 
There's some really good quality for modded items, so... PhD... Nah, we, we need... If we're going to have a successful run here, we need something that's got a bit more oomph to it. And do you know what? G give, me, give, me a, give me a thingy room right off the bat. Item room right off the bat. Come on. I don't do this often. In fact, I never do this on the series. But just to speed up the process a little bit. Really? No item room right off the bat? Still none? Still none? What the hell, game? Just one little item room is all I need. There you go. What on earth? Quality zero. Better items my ass. <laughs> Can't believe you've done this game. What the hell's going on with these? Where the hell are my rooms? Go in here. It's a brimstone boy. <laughs> I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Just... <laughs> Where are the item rooms, man? Where the hell are the item rooms? Where the hell are the item rooms? Why are none of them spawning straight off the bat? What is this? This is evil. I can't believe you just killed yourself there, sir. That was your own dumb, dumbass fault. I guess we're just playing this one out normally, then. I should probably use my holy card, shouldn't I? I remember I, tr I, don't, I used to always try and hold onto the holy card until, like, the second floor, uh, just in case I got the D1, but that, that cheese doesn't work anymore. They fixed that. And they made, the whole, they made D1 a whole lot worse in some situations and a whole lot better in some others. My favourite use of the D1 now is using it to abuse soul stones. You get one soul stone and then drop it and de-one it, and you can just get every soul stone. It's so good. That was close. So, apparently we're in the, in the times of it being the most long-winded way possible to get to our item room. They're never gonna spawn close. Really not looking forward to these little, yeah. Okay, one of them's just like, nah, just gonna give up. Whirling Leech? Are you kidding? I can't. It's an on-hit item. Why does that even spawn as this dude? Where are my item rooms, you bitch? Give me just one, just one item room. Like, what's going on? There's one, there's one, finally. Cast the blind. Holy. I see you, you little shit. Ancient hourglass. Don't care. Don't care. I just want one tainted lost good run. Just one, please. Just one, please. It's not good enough. That is potentially good enough. Fettered Heart is going to make basic rooms a whole lot easier when enemies are fettered. Obviously, there is only a chance that they're fettered. Oh, you're the last dude alive. Are you, wait, what? Are you? No, you're not. You're fettered. There you go. It just depends if fettered enemy spawns. It's, it's honestly not that great. <laughs> it is a good item, but for like... A good start, I wouldn't say it's really the item we needed. Also, a speed down off the bat. Oh, baby. This is looking promising. This is a look into how uh, beating Tainted Lost went for me. Quite poorly. Kill that with fire. Easy. Kill it with fire. Don't let me shoot the fire by accident. I need that. And kill it with fire. Easy. Mm, that's kind of nice. We get the Virtue Wisps. They can protect us for a little bit, I suppose. It's not amazing, but they can protect us. 
See, now all the sack rooms are here. Fettered heart. Can you give me, like, one fettered enemy? <laughs> I'm getting unlucky right now. All these enemies are not a single fettered one? This is upsetty spaghetti times for me. Upsetty spaghetti times. Hopefully this item room redeems. Ooh, yeah. Transform all enemies in the room into champions. That seems useful. That's definitely an item that should be uh, within this character's pool of items. Yeah, that guy's fat of good. Do a bit of damage to these sons of bitches. Honestly, just bail. This makes my uh, my wisps invincible too, so I think this is the only way to survive that guy. We got two eternal hearts from him. That'd be good if they they were worth a damn. Uh, guaranteed. This is tough. I think we go with that for the just massive damage up. That's not even a massive damage up. Although it is a multiplier, so. A multiplier is worth a damn, so. Although ocular with perfection probably would have been better. We'll see what ends up being worth it later on, won't we? So far, though, this, this, this run's going okay. We've got something going... I just wish Fetid would trigger just a little more often. I don't know if I'm just getting unlucky, but I feel like I'm only getting, like, one or two Fetid enemies a floor. I hope my Wisps can stay alive a good amount of time as well. I don't really know how much health they've got left. Ooh, there's two in this room. Dude, 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 dude. You've got rid of all my Wisps and you won't die. You got rid of all of my Wisps. Do you know when I was saying about keeping them alive, I was lying. I wanted them all to die a horrible death in a single room to one enemy. That's That was more so what my plan was, actually. So I'm glad that came to fruition. I'm glad the game was listening to my, my hopes and prayers there. Let's do a bit of a gamble here. Horse pill. Shot speed up. Pretty decent. Not the best pill in the world, but I'll certainly take shot speed. Dude. Am I playing Tainted Lost or am I playing Tainted Trash? Like, what are these items that I'm getting right now? <laughs> they are so bad. Also, the game needs to stop giving me sacrifice rooms when I have absolutely nowhere to play them. It's just rude. Oh god, the shot speed on those boys is fast. Oh, the devil. Dude, that missed you? Big heck. Not that we needed it, really, but still. Right. Let's go. Okay. Things are going decently. Almost lost my holy card there to a really dumb mistake, but things are going decently. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Cares of the care, I didn't even realize. Whoopsie daisy. Yeah, don't don't let them escape this easily this time. Ooh, hard room. Hard room, be careful. Ooh, look! Another sack room. What is that? One every single floor thus far? It seems it might well be. Damn. The the holy cards are uh they're holding out on us at the minute. We've not seen a single one drop this entire session. Which is unfathomable to be honest, but Dude. 
Did someone break Tainted Lost? Did someone actually break Tainted Lost? Because these are not better items at all. These items are trash, doo doo, trash, trash. I mean, I'm pretty happy with some of the other items I have, but like. Please, game. Please. I don't know how much of a threat these worms are, to be honest. I don't think they're that much of a threat, I'll be honest. I don't think they are. Ooh, that is... Oh, I was going to say that light is really good, but unfortunately we can't. I forgot. Ooh, we have enough coins to play this. I know we're losing some tier 8 for it, but there's only 7 coins. And we got most of them back anyways. We only lost 2 coins there. Ooh, that is a tempting one. That is a tempting one. Mum's lipstick. Mum's underwear. It's all coming together. We're getting the greatest items to ever, ever be known on this game. <laughs> oh, God. I'm just uh, coping with the pain. Finding ways to cope. That of which there is not many. More money is good. More money is more fire rate. We should have a pretty easy time of whatever boss comes our way here just because of that. I don't know what the eternal version of this guy does, so I'm a little frightened. He fires off those that drop bombs. Okay. So that's what he does. They always spawn those bombs. Okay. That seems just about reasonable. What the hell kind of heart is this? There's two of me now. Excuse me? I do not understand what this heart is, but there's two of me now. I ain't complaining. I have no idea what caused that. I don't know what heart that's from. I think it's the illusionary hearts, maybe? In the illusion book? It is. I tell you what it has done. It has dipped my FPS in a major way. But if this is my only way out, I will take it. Yeah, I don't, it's 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 not FPS friendly having it having a clone apparently. Having a clone is not good for the system. Oh god, I didn't see those guys. I don't actually know what happens if the other one dies, and I don't know how he would potentially go away. I think normally you'd lose the heart, but because we're the lost, we can't lose the heart. So I'm a little confused as to how we exactly lose it. Oh lord. Did that hit anything? I don't think it did, did it? These enemies are like double trouble because they have the homing shots, then they drop an eternal fly. If there's multiple of them in a room, it's it's hell. Hello, ball of tar. I don't know if he's an exact copy because he didn't get in my ball of tar there. But I think he's an exact copy of when I picked it up. But yeah, he is. He might he might need to go soon. FPS with this dude is uh, is low. However they're going about making this happen, it's, it's not the correct way. Code must be reviewed. He also seems to have slightly different speed to me, I think. Wait, what? Um, I used a holy card? I'm confused. But this guy now has a holy card on him too. Okay. Would it be nice to know he was holding a holy card? Because I would have liked to have just dropped it. Got myself a free... I don't know which one of me took damage there. The bad one. Okay, anyways, we're going to end it off there. That went terribly. Um, That went awfully. I hope you guys enjoyed. We're now at a minus eight. <laughs> yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next one.